<laughs> hey everybody, this is Captain Yeet here for you. It's one of the My Hero Academia Manga Chapter Reaction Slash Review. Take me My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 374 titled Butterfly Effect. So, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm doing this chapter a little bit late because, well, this chapter didn't come out until like 6, 4 in the morning around there. So, it came out kind of late and I passed out. I'm trying to stay up so late. It's 9 right now, so it's still going to come out pretty early, but... Yeah, I didn't do it like on time, on time. I've been trying to do that for the past few weeks, but each, for some reason, my heel just been coming out later and later for some reason, so I don't know why, but hey, it's whatever. So anyway, let's get into this chapter. The page, the chapter starts off right where we left off with Korigiri slash uh, Shirakumo waking up, and you can see big some parts of Shirakumo coming out of the Korigiri mist, but, Kor still, but Korigiri still said that he is only serving Sigaraki. So, obviously, <laughs> that acts pretty bad. Mike wasn't able to get to him. It even says on the side of the panel, it says, My voice didn't reach Kurigiri. He is awake. The hero versus villain fight has reached new heights. 374, butterfly effect. The next panel is an outward shot of outside, and a bunch of clouds are swirling. And then we cut to the news station, BCD News. Back to the present moment, Washington State, USA. Oh, we'll come over there, okay. Uh, the flagment, the flagmented clouds that suddenly formed over Japan continues to grow at an alarming rate. If it enters the jet stream, it could potentially influence weather in North America. And while this lady is talking on the news, we get a few panels of the Dobby and Todoroki fight, and, oh, also Endeavor fight, too. Well, these panels are from, like, when the fight first started. We know Dobby got back up, but these panels are from when the fight first started. According to the National Weather Service, the cloud formed when uh, convention formed multiple simulations, heat sources combined with a tropical typhoon that came in from the southwest. So, Dobby and Dever and Todoroki are using that firepower so hard it's affecting the weather. <laughs> okay. Uh, the cloud is said to be colossal, larger than anything we ever seen. And I, oh, I guess also the Todoroki's ice tsunami must have influenced that too. If the flap of the butterfly wings in Brazil can set off a tornado in Texas, did the birth of the... Let me zoom in on this word. Lumen Eason Baby. From which superhuman society. Oh, oh the Lumen Eason Baby. The, the, the very first quirk that came out of nowhere with that baby just like glowing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, I get what she's saying. The, the birth of the Lumen Eason Baby from which superhuman society originated doomed that society to fall into chaos from the very start. A single person's power can change the whole world. Merely, what are you saying? I know the government, know the world, is trying to flatter all for one, but I'm firmly opposed to the idea. Uh, let me zoom in. Commercial break, hurry up. <laughs> it's all herbal for us. Hey, we're cutting back to the Dobby fight. Okay, let's go. I didn't think, I didn't know when we're going to cut back to a different fight. Okay. Communal war, Japan, Todoroki versus Dobby. Uh, burning. Watch with all that heat. Uh, either is trying to grab Todoroki to leave. Todoroki-kun, he'll burn you too. You can't keep facing him. Your ultimate uh, pyrofoso move took too much out of you. Everyone at the limit. No, we shouldn't. We surpassed our limits and continue to fight. But he's the only one, the only one still standing. Father's blood courses through both our veins. So why is Toya the only one still standing? Oh, <laughs> yo, he's doing Totoro. Yo, that. I mean, I said this multiple times. Unless Aerie can touch him, there's no way Dobby can survive after this fight. Look, his, his the next panel, his bones, I mean, he's, his skin is black. And he's doing the same move Todoroki did with the fire X around him. So he's like somewhat containing the heat around him. But still, his body is just... Yeah, and his fire coming out of his mouth. Like, yeah, he, he's going to die. <laughs> like, like, unless Aerie touches him, he's going to die. Like, I don't know how any doctors can 
heal him after this fight. He's just going crazy. And he's just burning. He's like turning the ground into mush. How much heat he's producing. Um. He says, so Endeavor and uh, Gunga, huh? It's too, uh, it's too darn far away. Uh, that warping really messed things up. If I stick to my original plan of defeating Soto and bringing him as a present, my body won't hold up. Uh, he's trying to use fire on his feet to jet boost himself over to Todoroki. Oh, wait, no. He's planning to fly to where Faba is, Brennan. He's broken past the limits of his power through fear. I'm sorry. He throw, he broke him past the limits of his power through sheer force of will. Wasn't his body like super weak to fire? How is he still keeping it together? Wait, I can still move. You want to kill me, right? Are you going to run away and leave the job half done? Um, the one of the no moves are talking to Dobby. Hey, Mr. said, yeah. <laughs> he said dad but with two d's in a while i don't know <laughs> dobby hey mr dobby yeah he, they didn't write that word right <laughs> hey mr dobby issues oh wait no he's saying mr dad issues i told you not to preserve me but i have some news it seems like you're getting a real free ride no! <laughs> the next panel, Kuro Giri made a warp gate. It's Dobby's gonna fly it through. Okay, so yeah, so. Dang. <laughs> Jeez, man, so Kuro Giri really is back. I mean, back now. Oh, man, yeah, this this messes up everything. So Kuro Giri's gonna warp Dobby over to Endeavor. Endeavor, he's already hand handling enough with um, all for one. Then we cut over back to UA. UA flying Sky Fortress, Midoriya versus Sigaraki slash all for one. The wind's too strong. I may lose control of the water. Uh, this is Manuel talking to uh, Monoma. Monoma, you all right? This fight is headed straight into the history books. And I want them to write that I was the reason <laughs> we won. Egg shot's still in there. So are Lemillion and Genius. Uh, we see we see Mario trying to stand back up. And Midoriya's giving it his all. I can't afford to blink even once. And I'm not here to keep whining. And the pan, the next panel, Deku and Sigaraki's in the air. And Sigaraki looks like his body's like looks huge. Like it's gonna explode. I don't know what just happened. Last time we saw what was it? Last time we saw this fight, Deku did that like walloping smash with the gear shift quirk. So where he was like somewhat bending reality because he was going so fast and he was just punching him. I don't know how to, yeah, he, he's looking like Sigaraki's getting fat and fatter, a little he's in a bust. Uh, the things people experience when they're young, to find the type of reason they become, I trust, and people, wait, to find the type of person they become, I trust in people's feelings more than anything else. Ah, uh, and a warp gate appears right behind Monoma and Aizawa. Oh, and it's President Mike. <laughs> Azawa turns around. He lived a dark life, so his feelings for it, the friend who accepted him are strong. Ruins of the Gunga villain endeavor versus All for One. We cut back to All for One talking. Uh, I installed a microchip in Shimura's head to make sure Kurigiri would instantly move, even if he didn't know what what was currently happening. Uh, Ichiji succeeded. Hey there, Dad. <laughs> oh, boy, this is bad. And also, and Everett's not even saying anything. He, he might. Ah, oh, poop -a duke <laughs> Next panel, we see a, another warp gate opens, and there's a bunch of twices, so Toga used a quirk. Hawks! <laughs> a sad man's death. Planted a seed. I mean, planted a seed. Hated in a young girl's heart. Then a boy who turned his revenge into everyone's problem gave her a shiny new weapon. Shall we see, Tamajiki? I mean, not Tama. Uh, Hawkskoon. What would have happened last time if you hadn't disposed of him so quickly? We have to kill him now. 
break next week, 374 end. Okay, so this is pretty bad. <laughs> so, okay. So we didn't cut back to where Kirishima and Mina was fighting that guy with the skull mask. And we're getting, because they were like trying to make sure the villain thing get getting Chimakia. But with the warp gate quirk now, Kuragiri could just warp getting Chimakia either out of the chains he's in and then just put him on the battlefield or just warp him out of there entirely. So either way, that's bad news. Two, they warped Dobby over to Endeavor. So it's going to be all for one in Endeavor. I mean, all for one. And Dobby trying to kill Endeavor, which is pretty bad because Endeavor is already pretty banged up as it is. Uh, three. Also, Toga is sending a ton of Twice clones over there, and he's pretty banged up too. So he's not gonna be able to deal with Twice as easily as he did last time. Um, but we didn't cut back over to where Umaraka was, so we don't know how. I guess I guess he's just making more Twice clones over there too, or maybe making a ton of Toga clones or whatever. Probably tw probably Twice clones, but you know. So he can make as many as he wants. Obviously, they're weaker. But so he can make as many as he wants. So they're going to get one overrun pretty quickly. Because the only hero that was really dead that could actually do something was, I would say, getting Orca. I mean, that's the only pro hero we saw there. All the, all the other pro heroes that we saw, I don't think we knew. The only pro hero that we knew we saw was getting Orca. And he was busy fighting that Nomu in the sky. So <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, sucks that there's a break next week. Um, yeah, we didn't really get to see what's going on with, yeah, we didn't, yeah, we cut over to the Deku and Alpha of One fight, um, Alpha of One, Sigurati looks like he's gonna explode, and then we cut over to where, and, and, uh, and Race Ahead and Monoma are, and a warp gate opens up around them, and President Mike's getting pushed through, so, I guess... Kuragiri is going to come in and try to warp Aizawa and Monoma away so Sugaraki can use his quirks unless Spinner is going to get back up and hit them. It's just, uh, you know, it's, they, you know, obviously they're going to get Endeavor, I mean, Erase Ahead and Monoma out of there somehow so Sugaraki can use his quirks. But with Sugaraki now, I don't know what's happening with his body. It looks like he's getting fatter and fatter and looks like he's going to explode. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> that was a little weird. Um... Other than that, it's kind of because I, I remember in the chapter where Todoroki and uh, uh, Dobby were fighting, one of those chapters, somebody mentioned something about the clouds or something like, you know, there's so much heat, it's affecting the weather. Or like, no, it was like it was like each battlefield, like the weather was changing because of how much heat was getting accumulated by Todoroki and Dobby. I don't know if they ever mentioned Endeavor, but all three of them combined doing all this stuff is affecting the weather. And this water lady is talking about it, how, you know, it's getting so bad over there in Japan, it could affect the weather over here, which is pretty wild. And then she says, I want to I read the last thing she says, because it was kind of interesting to me. A single person power can change the whole world. Merely, what are you saying? I know the government, no, the world is trying to flatter, flat, yeah, flatter all for one, but I'm, I'm firmly opposed to the idea. Yeah, that's... That's kind of wild. So either she just genuinely believes that for some reason, I don't know why, or all for one has followers. We see he has like regular civilian followers everywhere in Japan. Yeah, where that was even in the camps. So if he has followers out in America, that'd be crazy. <laughs> he has followers in America. That that'd be kind of wild. And um, yeah, that that was the chapter. <laughs> Pretty wild chapter. Um, Kuragiri is back, so he's warping all the villains away. I don't know how they're gonna whew, him warping the villains around and stuff. Jeez, man, this is this fight gonna get kind of intense. <laughs> this fight is getting pretty intense. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen, but hey, I guess we'll see. But um, that's the chapter for you guys today. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all there for being wonderful human beings, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right.